In this video, I will demonstrate for you the Web Starts Form Builder application. I've loaded my Web Starts page editor where I can edit my individual pages within my website. I click on the Apps drop down menu and I choose Form Builder. Here we're taking a look at the Form Builder application. You can see here that I've selected no fields to this point, and for that reason, this message is displayed. When I click on this message, it shakes this area over to the left to show you this is the area where you'll need to click on these buttons to add different form fields to your finished form. I'm going to start, however, by editing the title section to my form, and I do that by clicking on it. I then move over to these input fields, and I just complete the input field. So I say, please complete this form. And then I can say, enter your info below. And you can see it's updated in real time over here on the right side. Now, look at the three tabs up here. I go back to my add field tab. And from there, I can add something like a single line of text. And I can click on that single line of text field and change the title of it. So I'm just going to make this one called first name. Notice here you can uh, change the, the field type and you can also change the size of the field. Going back over here to add another field, the next one is going to be another single line of text. And I'm calling this one last name. I'll continue to move down the list. You can see I can add everything from checks boxes to drop downs to multiple choice. And if you want to customize those, you simply click on them. And then for this example, in my choices, I can put uh, several different things. And I can add some fields here by clicking on the green icon. And I can remove them, of course, by clicking on the uh, red icon. I can customize the check the uh, text for that field. And I do the same thing whether it be a drop down or multiple choice or whatever you have. At any time if I want to remove a section, I can just click on it and click the little red icon. Now going back to my fields, I'm going to try a paragraph of text, and then I've got my fancy fields, which are just pre-filled out for email addresses, things like that. And if I want to change the order at any time, I can just click and hold and drag the fields into a different place on that form. Moving over to the form settings tab, here I can choose the uh, person who's going to, or the email address, where the data will be submitted once the form is completed. So you can enter a few different uh, email addresses. If you want your form data to go to you know, several email addresses, you can do that. And then over here, you can see you can change the alignment of the form. You can see the preview over on the right panel there. And then you can choose a confirmation page. That's the page where your user or the person who filled out the form will go upon completing and submitting the form. Here you can check this box to add a completed form to your mailing list. And what that does, it will send the data over to your Web Start shopping cart. If you have a paid plan, you can then use the email marketing features of our Web Start shopping cart to send follow-up and broadcast emails to the people who let, uh, who uh, submitted forms. Once you're ready to put the form on your page, click the big insert form button and you'll see your form appears on the page. From there you can change the background color and you can change font styles and all the other things that uh, you might want to do within the Web Starts page editor. So for example, I can change some of these stylings. Once the form is completed, the data will go over to an email account. Let me show you that. And you'll see a completed form query that looks just like this here. That's my sample data. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to visit webstarts.com to make your very own free website and see more helpful videos like this.